with Sarah Stamping Treats. Today I thought we could create a die cut gatefold card. And these cards are really fun, they can be do done with all sorts of dies and they're really pretty as well. So I'm going to be using my stitched alphabet cutting dies from Spellbinders for this. So we're going to create the card blank first and I've got a piece of sage cardstock from Spellbinders and it measures seven by eight and a half inches and I'm going to score that at one and three quarter inches and at five and a quarter inches. And then I'm going to turn that into our gatefold so I'm going to fold these into the middle. No, I want them to meet nearly, really nicely in the middle. So in these letter dies come in two pieces. You've got the detail bit in the centre and then you've got the outline. So I want to create a celebrate you card today. So I'm going to put the U down the middle and that's going to be the die cut piece of my gateful card. So I'm going to just tape these down here. So I'm going to make sure they're really nicely spaced out but I'm only going to tape them to one half of this gatefold. So I'm going to start with the left half, so I'm just going to tape it to the left half of the card. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up, and I'm going to die cut it like this, so that only this half of the dies are going to cut. So then I'm going to leave the dies on there, I'm going to close these over, and then keeping them in place, I'm just going to move the tape over to the other side of the die so that we're taping it on the other side. So you can see now that side's die cut and now we're going to open it back out and put it through to die cut this side as well. So now I can just remove these dies. Then when I close this back up again, you'll see that that U goes straight down the middle. So then I want to decorate this, so you can see I've got some cream detail letters and this pink velvet rose cardstock that's also from Spellbinders as the backing. So the pink has been cut with these dies and the cream with the detail dies. You can see I've done some stitching on these, so I'm going to show you how I did that on this O. So you could do all sorts of things um, with this stitching. I've seen people do kind of crochet styles or um, little roses, things like that. But I'm going to keep it super simple today. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to go up through this middle hole. I'm going to just catch this behind. And then I'm going to go through one of the outside holes. Then back up through the middle. And then through the next outside hole. I'm going to try and catch this piece of thread that was from the end into the sewing so that um, it doesn't come loose. So each time I'm just going to the outside and then up through the inside. And then once I'm done I'm just going to thread this through here and that will help secure the end of the thread. Then I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side. So I'm just going to thread that through to finish it off again. So then I'm just going to add the letters onto um, the letter backs with some frame pads. I'm kind of trying to trap some of those ends under the frame pads as well, just to give it a bit of extra security. Then I'm going to add some glue to the back of these and I'm going to put them into the places that have been die cut out of the grateful cup. So 
So then I want to make a belly band for my card. So I've got some of this Velvet Rose card stock and I'm just going to take this Celebrate that's from this Alex Siberia Designs Birthday Wishes stamp set. I'm sure you'll have seen me use that loads if you follow my videos because it's one that I go to time and time again. And I'm just going to stamp that in the centre. I want to heat emboss it with white embossing powder so I've got my super fine opaque bright white from Wow let's heat that up and if you've got something delicate that you're heat embossing like this I would always recommend a super fine embossing powder so then I'm going to cut that down into a strip so then I've got this nice slim belly band and I'm going to pop this on here so I want it to go under this way and I'm just going to flip that over and then I can just bend this round the back. I don't want it to be too tight because I want it to be able to slide on and off but also I want it to stay up so I want it not to fall down. So I'm just going to practice with that just to make sure it's right before I stick it and that looks fine to me. So now I'm going to go to the back. I'm just going to add some glue onto here. And so then you can see we've got this really gorgeous die cut gatefold card design. So I really hope that you've enjoyed today's card. If you did, I'd massively appreciate you clicking the like below. And you can also press subscribe if you'd like to see future videos. If you press the bell button and select all, then YouTube will also notify you when I've got a new video available. All of the products that I've used for today's cards are listed in the description below. And there's also a link there to my blog where you can find a picture supply list if that helps you find what you're looking for. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to see you again soon.